everyone, welcome to the second part in drawing the periodic table. The second part is labeling the elements, which there are four types of elements. One's solid, one's liquid, one's gas. So yeah, we're going to get started. And yeah. Okay, so, the, so I already drew some here. This one's hydrogen, it's of course the first one. Helium's right there. Lithium is so we're gonna make all the red one all the ones in in red will be a gas. This one, yeah. So uh, this one the all the ones that are in black will be in solids. The one that are blue will be liquids. There's only two. And the one that are in pencil, as you can see I have a pencil. There are gonna be unknown elements, which I think it starts right here. So, yeah, we're gonna get started right now. So, so we made hydrogen and helium's over there. So this one's lith there's lithium, beryllium. I just memorized them straight up. You can memorize them different ways, like maybe knowing their families, like noble gases and halogens, and maybe transition metals. I have no idea how you memorize them, or maybe even the electrons. So yeah, we're gonna keep going. So. Goes to boron, carbon. All right. On every single periodic table, I some I for some reason see this: nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. It's kind of weird how carbon is not is in, is is in the category other non-metals, and it's it's in black, and it it tells me that's a solid. So that's what I see. So we're gonna keep going. Sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium. Calcium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc, gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium. Oh yeah, also for the for the periodic table, you should also memorize the symbols to make it easier. You don't have to, but because then you'd have to write it in so small and be a little hard to read. I mean, the symbols are actually pretty fun to memorize. For most people, they aren't fun, but I say it's fun. Sodium, bromine. Oh wait, bromine's a so um, bromine's a liquid. Sorry about that, everyone. Don't forget that bromine is a liquid. And the symbol is kind of hard to read. Symbol is BR. And. Crichton. Rubidium. Strontium. Widrium. Zirconium. Niobium. Molybdenum. Technetium, ruthenium, rhodium, palladium, silver, cadmium, indium, tin, antimony, tellurium, iodine, exonin. I heard that this is pronounced a different way, but I've not, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's xenon, xenon or something like that. I have no idea. Cesium, barium. And then when we get to here, once we get to cesium and barium, after that we got this square right here, which will be atomic numbers 57 to 71. Now that we know that, we know this is atomic number 56. So we, we are going to do that 
after that in the next video, which will be a little boring, so you can actually skip that video if you really want. So, is lanthanum, cerium, rhizodium, neodymium, promethium, samarium, europium, gadolinium, and terbium, dysprosium, holmium, erbium, thulium, widerbium, potassium. Now those are all the lanthanoids, which I'll be labeling afterwards. Now we're right here, which is some hafnium, tantalum, tungsten, rhenium, osmium, iridium, platinum, gold, merc- oh, <laughs> don't want to forget mercury as a liquid. Mercury. Thallium. Lead. Bismuth. Polonium. Acetine. And our final gas, gas is radon. Francium, radium. Then right here we're gonna have our actinoids, which are eighty-nine to one hundred three, which starts with actinium, of course. Actinium, thorium, protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, curium, berkelium, californium. Einsteinium, and, um, hold on a second, sorry everyone, that's fermium, mendelium, nobelium, laurentium. So yeah, those are all the actinoids, now we're on to the unknown ones, which are going to be in pencil, which is rutherfordium, dubnium, cyborgium, and borium. Potassium, potassium, matinurium, matinurium, darmstadium, um, sorry everyone, I don't know how I'm forgetting it, rowentgenium, copern, co wow, I, that is CN, I can't really read it, copernicium, Ununtrium, fluorovium, ununpentium, um, livermorium, ununseptium, ununoctium. As you can see, we have all the symbols, but we're not done yet. We need to still need to do some things. We need to label our, we need to make our zigzag line, which is going to be above boron. So to remember where it is, it is above boron. We go down, we keep going above silicon and just keep up that, keep that up until you get to polonium and acetine. Once you get in between those two, you stop there. That's where our zigzag line is. Not done yet. We're also gonna make our one, two, one, two. Well, no, we're not, we're not there. And we're gonna do that in the last step. This video is kind of long, so we're going to stop here for today, and bye.